Hello everyone, welcome to last day of Mass Lead Code Challenge and today's question is stamping the sequence. In this question, we are given two strings, the stamp and the target string. And we need to tell whether it is achievable to generate the target string using the stamping operation done by the stamp string. And we need to return those indices where stamping needs to be done so as to achieve the target string. So without much ado, let's look at the presentation that I have created for this and I'll explain the logic and the examples there and there itself. So moving on to the presentation and let me just start the slideshow as usual. And let me just take a pen. Stamping the sequence, lead code 936. This is a hard problem guys and slightly tricky. So let's start the approach. So the question says you are given a stamp string and the target string and you are also given a blank string. You need to assume that you have a blank string of the equal length as that of the target string. And you, and you need to tell whether you can stamp this blank string so as to generate this target string. If yes, then you need to return the indices where stamping needs to be done. Leftmost, leftmost inde indices where stamping needs to be done. So let's try. We have ABC as a stamp string and we have AB, ABC. So the first thing that can be done is to stamp at the 0th index. So we will replace this by A. Then we'll get B here and then we'll get C. So we stamped at the 0th index. So as to generate ABC star star. So after the first operation, we have the string. And in the second operation, we will stamp at the second index. So this gets overridden and we get have A, B and C. So this string matches with that of the target string and we have our answer, which is you have you need to stamp at 0th and second index so as to achieve this target string. And this is what we need to return. So let's talk about the approach that comes to my mind uh, when I read this question for the first time. I thought of moving in the DFS fashion and trying all permutations whether if I stamp if I start stamping at this position will I be able to achieve my target string or not and I keep on doing it recursively in a DFS fashion uh, till the time my com all my DFS permutations are not exhausted. But that case I assume will be pretty long and since all the permutations will be covered by that approach. So I have something smarter. So I have taken a slightly complex example here where the stamp stamp is A, B, C, A and the sequence is double A, B, C, A, C, A. And we need to tell whether this sequence is achievable or not. Instead of going in the regular direction doing a DFS, we will go in the reverse direction. What we will try to do is to generate the basic string from the sequence string that is given to us. So what is the basic string or the target string for us? Star, star, star 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 and one two three four five six one two three seven so seven stars all together if this string can be generated from this sequence the answer is yes and we'll return those indices where we did uh, the stamping operation otherwise we'll abort the process and return minus one from it so let me tell you how, how i am thinking about the approach so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'll try to search in my sequence a substring which is an exact match of the stamp. So let's try this up in the original string and you will find at one position, one index, it's a complete match. So A, B, C, A matches with that of the stamp. Also while, I'll, while searching, I'll, I'll make sure that star the asterisk sign is treated as a no op. I'll tell you why in the later portion but just remember that point. So as soon as I find that index I'll replace all the string all the complete all the characters starting from that index up till the length of the stamp with an asterisk because we know that whatever the value is held in the previous step we'll be able to replace it with a b c a if we do stamping at this position in the last step and now we have our original string as 
ए स्टार 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 सी ए एंड वी विल चेक whether this string matches with the expected string or not it still doesn't match and have scope of improvement so we'll continue the same approach so this time we'll check whether starting from the ith index whether it's possible to do the stamping let's check that so we have a and a matches with this character the there's a character match and then we have b so b is in the stamp and then we have asterisk here which is a no op well and good because any value which is held at this position will be overridden in the last step by a so that is the reason asterisk will be considered as a no op so we'll continue the process and then we have c so again we got an asterisk or a star well and good it's a no op move ahead and then we have again an a so here at uh, the string the stamp string ends and we got an exact match so we will do a stamping operation starting at a uh, zeroth index so we uh, uh, we added to our answer zeroth index and we will update the string uh, with with asterisk or star so now the string becomes star 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 ca and again we will check whether the complete string is equal to our target string or not it's still not equal let's continue the process so we'll start from the zeroth index and we'll check uh, whether uh, the it needs to it need it needs stamping or not it doesn't need stamping so we'll move ahead it doesn't need stamping 1 2 3 4 so it doesn't need stamping then we'll we'll come to this index and we'll check uh, whether we can do stamping at this position or not so a does a uh, we have a in the stamp and asterisk here no op move to the next index it's again uh, an asterisk no op then we have c it's a no op and then there is a mismatch at a and c so it doesn't match so we need to skip the starting this as a starting index we'll move on to the next iteration and then we come here and we'll start stamping at this position and we'll check whether this position fits in the stamp string or not so we have a here and we have asterisk here well and good uh, then we will again check uh, for the next uh, index we have b and asterisk awesome or uh, no op then we have then we'll check for this and c and c so it's a match great and then uh, lastly we'll check a versus a so it's a complete match and when we stamped at the third index we found a complete match so we will stamp we'll do the stamping operation at third index and the string will be updated to star 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 which is our target string and we'll abort the process so what do we have in the end in the array 0 1 1 0 and 3 and the answer will be the reverse of this uh, this array that we created because we propagated in the reverse direction so we'll have to perform the reverse on this array and the answer would be 0 3 0 and 1 also please remember that while doing the comparison i i took two pointers here one that is iterating from the zeroth index up till uh, the, up till the last index where you can actually perform stamping so this one we would be that the total length minus the stamp length and another one which will actually iterate over all the indexes so you will understand that in the coding part so i'm using a two pointer approach one for the starting of the stamp index and other for checking whether the stamping is actually possible or not i hope this approach is clear to you and let's just move on to the coding part So let's try the other two methods. Let's try the update method first. So private void update, and the first parameter is current string, char current, and then we have stamp index where we actually need to start the stamping, and we are passing the third parameter is the stamp string stamp, and let's start the iteration starting from j equals to zero, j is less than Stamp dot length, 
j plus plus and we'll update the current string j plus i to asterisk pretty simple uh, i am iterating through the current string starting from the j uh, the ith index up till i plus stamp length and updating it to asterisk and now let's write the main method where we need to fetch the stamp index so private integer fetch stamp index and the first parameter would be car the current string and the second would be the stamp and let's start the iteration from i equals to 0 i is less than current length minus stamp dot length i plus plus and let's define few more variables integer j equals to 0 for iterating over this stamp string and integer let's call it s equals to i for iterating over the current string while and let's define another loop while j is less than stamp dot length and s is less than current dot length and either current of j happens to be equal to asterisk that means it's a no of and or current of j current of s sorry it should be current of s equals to stamp dot car at j if that is the case if we found is even the asterisk of asterisk or both the character that happens to be equal then we'll update s plus plus and j plus plus also we need to define a boolean variable which will let us know whether in the complete string we had any non asterisk character or not is non star character we'll define it to false and we will up if my current character at s happens to be not equal to asterisk then i'll update the string and it's a matching case as well because that is the only contender where we actually need to perform the stamping operation for example your string already has four or five asterisk and your stamp string is of length ab so you don't need to perform stamping at zero f index again so in, in order to avoid that i have taken another variable is non star character and if my j happens to be equal to stamp dot length that means i found one matching case and my is non star character is also true if both these conditions are met I, I have completely iterated over the jf string and i have found one non star character in my current string that means i need to return my i index awesome otherwise i'll simply return minus 1 from it and let's start trying this up i made a very stupid error i compared the string character to be of asterisk after updating it i have to do it before so this should be something like this and now let's try this up looks good and let me just submit it accepted uh, with this we have come to the last day of mass lead code challenge and i hope you enjoyed the complete series and i would like to tell you with a lot of pride that in this month we haven't missed out even a single question and thanks for your love and support if you like today's video please don't forget to like it share it with your friends and subscribe it to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching the video again